The 18th century began with the passage of slave codes in New York and Virginia that defined terms which would epitomize America's system of chattel slavery. Yet the end of the century marked an incremental shift towards empowerment of black people in this country. While the Emancipation Proclamation was still a distant concept, the mid to late 1700s saw the establishment of the first black churches, cultural organizations, institutions for education of Negroes, and accomplishments of perhaps the most celebrated black man in the 1700s. Ahead of his time in a period that saw most still enslaved, Benjamin Banneker became an astronomer, clockmaker, surveyor, and advocate for equality. On this day in 1731, Banneker was born free to free parents on a 100-acre tobacco farm that they owned. He was educated at a Quaker school, one of the few institutions at the time to offer integrated education. At around 15 years old, Banneker developed an irrigation system for his family's land. His ingenuity would not stop there. In his 20s, Banneker built one of the first clocks in America. This caught the eye of a famous clockmaker who loaned Banneker scientific books and instruments for astro uh, astronomical uh, studies in exchange for Banneker's assistance. Banneker began planning agricultural methods and predicting patterns of weather. This led to him publishing a self-entitled almanac in 1792, the first book of science published by a black American. Banneker's almanacs also contained political writings in which he challenged the concept of democracy like few black men had. These writings called the attention of Thomas Jefferson. The two men exchanged several letters. In them, Banneker advocated for abolition by pointing out the hypocrisy of America's Declaration of Independence. As he pointed out, those who said all men were created equal were enslavers of men and women and children. At the end of his life, Banneker amassed arguably more accomplishment than any black man of his time. So today, we remember Benjamin Banneker. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime, and good night.